over half a century, American Tim Durrant has been suffering from a thwarted love affair, an infatuation with a horse race. For various reasons, he's been foiled in all his attempts to ride in the Grand National. This year, for example, his horse Ariel went lame. But Tim, whose physical fitness would be the envy of many a man half his age, never gives up. He's persuaded his daughter to let him ride her national entry, King Pin. Tim has spent a lifetime in the saddle, stealing every spare moment to ride and hunt, even when he was a stockbroker in New York or acting as Charlie Chaplin's financial advisor in Hollywood. Now it's an early morning workout on a training mount over the Berkshire Downs. Final preparations for the greatest ride of his life for Tim Durrant, 66 years old. waited a lifetime to ride in the world's greatest steeplechase, and if you think he's waited too long, remember this gallant American's recent success at Kempton Park when he came second in the Corinthian chase at 100 to 6. Of course, Tim's got quite a precedent to follow. Last year, Tommy Smith became the first American jockey ever to win the national. But though every entry is riding to win, victory isn't everything. Just to get round in one piece is an achievement in itself especially when you're a grandfather and 66 years old. We'll be bringing you a special colour report on the National in our next edition. In the meantime, best of luck to all the riders taking part, not least Tim Durrant, granddaddy of them all. <laughs>